<laughs> Welcome to Bish's B Tippin'. Hello, hello. We got Janet and Ashley again. Where's the damn camera? Over there. Nope. It's over here this I time. I moved it again. Shit. All right. It's over here this time. <sighs> I need a focal point. We just need to put it like a sticker or something. Put a sticker. This is where the camera is. Look at the box of tissues. Okay. The whole time. The whole time. But then it looks like I'm looking at the box of tissues and not the camera. The box of tissues is just, our... Just look right here. The box of tissues is our audience tonight. <laughs> we were going to go live, but uh, like some Jeffrey person said that we needed to do. But um, uh, then we have to name it and do the description and... I don't know the description. I'd have to type all this up. And it and wants our location. And it wants our location. Sounds... And it was in black and white. And we're just not. I never know what it. to name it until we get through it. Oh, my notepad's over there. <laughs> I was unprepared. <laughs> and we're back. Thanks for waiting. Thanks for waiting. Did we introduce ourselves? Yes. I'm Ashley. I'm Janet. Just kidding. So I couldn't find any turkey. The liquor store was closed where I went today. That town was bowling. So uh, I'm a turkey. I'm a big turkey. And I keep looking at the wrong spot. It's I keep looking at the water bottle. That's okay. I, I think the first video I didn't know where to look the whole time. And I just was... <laughs> I'm just going to... Look everywhere. We can we can have an audience. Oh, oh I gotta get yeah, get your poop. I got my Christmas poop. We'll get a little early. I'll talk to the Christmas poop. Yeah, talk to his hand. Hi, Christmas that hand. poop. And he's we'll, waving. We'll play him for you. Christmas time. He's fun. So it says today's Thanksgiving episode. And uh, we got our thingy again. And this time, she picked all of them. Yep, so she doesn't know what they are, but I do, and that's just going to happen. I think I don't like it over there because I can't look at myself while I'm talking. I have to look at you. Ow. Did that hurt in the festival <laughs> a little bit? <laughs> I can't look at myself. I have to look at you. I want to look at myself. Well, I... Um, I mean, keep looking at yourself. It'll just look like you're looking at you and not the camera. How do we... We can't... We could stop it. I no. Guess, and then... Okay. Nope, it's good. Okay. Every every week we're going to be like, where's, where's the camera? And then my ADHD is going to kick in and it's just like, oh, it's cool. It's cool. Uh, we still need to get a tripod. Yes. But that's on my Christmas list. It's on my Christmas list. Christmas poop. Um, I go first this time. Yes. And hers even has like a fancy little cork. Fancy on. cork. So we went with side dish and dessert. And, um, because we couldn't find a turkey, but we're turkeys. I gobble, gobble. <laughs> gobble, gobble. Okay. So, this is Earl Estates. Um, She's already fucked up. Mattery. Meatery. Meatery. <laughs> apple enchantment. Semi sweet apple wine made from apples. Growing apple pie. So, apple enchantment. Semi sweet apple wine made from apples. Apple wine was the first fruit wine made in 1994 by the family owned. Meadery. It has won numerous awards and gold medals over the years. All snap. From like 1994. <laughs> yeah. What year are we in? 2018. So that's a lot of awards. 14 years. Uh, but our greatest pleasure comes from what it represents. The wine's flavor and success comes from its... That's the last sentence I wrote. Um, comes... Not only from the winemaking skills at Earl Estates, but also from our exclusive use of fresh Finger Lakes apples. My pants are distracting me. I shouldn't have worn these. Squirrel. For those that are tuning in, 
Janet may look like she's really dressed up. I'm festive. so dressed up, guys. She, Check this out. She's got shirt? shirt and then her Rocco's Modern Life Nickelodeon pajama bottoms. My Nickelodeon pajama bottoms. So, you know, she gets easily distracted. And I keep looking down and I'm like, oh, hey, Ren. Apples that are picked at just the right time in their maturity and prepared for us by the family-owned Wager Cider Mill in our town of Penyang. There's a cider mill out there. Mm. Uh, located between Seneca and Cuca Lakes. Is that how you say it? I say Cuca. Okay, good. We're on the same page. Because didn't we have an argument last week? The use you of finger lakes. Friday? Friday. The use of finger lakes apples allows us to capture the full essence of the New York apple and deliver it straight to your glass. <laughs> it also offers us a satisfaction of presenting to you, I'm thinking about apples, I'm sorry, presenting to you a special wine representing the work of local families who work together to spring, bring you the special flavor of our very own Finger Lakes region. Semi-sweet and with a perfect acid balance. Memories of Grandma's Apple Pie will guide you. Mm -hmm. I don't think my grandmother would leave me yesterday. Uh, down memory lane and satisfy your taste buds. Serve slightly chilled. An excellent combination with pork. <clears throat> we had sausage. And desserts. I have some pork roll. We had sausage. Yeah, we had sausage. So we had pork. So this is going to be great. Enjoy! Capital letters and explanation points. Um... Produced and bottled by CK Sellers in Penyan, New York. There's a website, meadery.com, M-E-A-D-E-R-Y.com. 8% alcohol contains sulfites. Yeah, we went, we went a little on the weak side for these two. Um, they're very low alcohol content, but I figure after going through that super dry one the other day, this is a good combination. And next next time, I promise I won't let Janet pick out a bottle that has a paragraph and a half long description. Keep going. Do you, do you want help? And the worst thing is they couldn't even see it on the camera, so they don't see the struggle that you're going through right now. <laughs> She's uh, having I'm a hard on, time. I'm unwrapping the... Ooh, it's like bottle. a Christmas present early. Okay, so it doesn't have a thingy on the top like Danielle likes. Oh, speaking of which, Danielle will be up next week. Bring it over a little bit more so they can see you struggling with this. Danielle will be over next weekend. Is she going to be here Sunday for dinner? Yes. Are we going to do Bitches Be Trippin' Sunday after dinner? We could, or we could do it Saturday. I don't know if I'll have Maddie or not. I'll have to find out. Okay. We'll play that by ear. Oh, I'm not even looking at the camera. They don't even know I'm looking this, at them. This scares me. Wine exercise. I can I get hurt? I don't know. This. Hmm. It smells dry. Not so bad. You gotta unscrew it and put it into bowl. Wine exercises. But look at Danielle. It doesn't have the date on it though, like she said. But it does got the little CK and the Sellers. And it says 216. I don't know if that's when it was made or when the cork was made or it's, it's, it's and it's it's like a fake cork, it's not a cork cork. In the cork collection. Although, and I definitely did throw the metal caps from, from... Yeah, I took the other one out and put it in. <laughs> Alright. Throwing. I'll see how it It's got, like, a watered-down cider look to it. it. Smells like I'm gonna hate it. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Yep. I can I concur, but that's okay. Okay, I actually don't hate it. I lied. It does taste like apple pie. Oh, wow. Did you pee a little? Potent apple pie. Yeah. 
So I actually like this one. We'll see how, you know, I'm not going to rate it yet because remember I rated it the other day and then it ended up being not so fantastic. So question, I, I know snobs, wine snobs don't agree with this, but I really like drinking my wine with ice in it. Ugh. I just like getting it super, super cold. So put it in the freezer. Oh, and Danielle said we're also not supposed to fill the glass all the way up. I, I did not pour this. I'm just saying. It, it doesn't... It, the First bullet. Talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's really a soft, like oh, a wow. faint smell Danny. of apples. You can't, you can't really smell it. Danny. Explanation point. It does smell delicious. Um, it, no, it does not smell delicious. It doesn't smell bad. I like it. It smells like it's going to be dry AF. And then you drink it. If you take like a big first mouthful and let it like the mouth. I wish it we could put a cinnamon stick in it. Eh. I like cinnamon. I totally forgot her tongue's pierced. And when she just looked at me and she had her mouth open with her tongue like this, I was like, what what's in her mouth? It's her tongue ring. A pimple. No, I like it. I like it. I would eat it with pork. I've never been like a sit down and drink and eat person. Like yeah, when, like, when, when mama I like to drinks. sit down and drink person. Yeah, when mama drinks, mama drinks. Like it's nice to have snacks, but I've never been like, oh, this steak would taste when really good. When you drink with mama, mama <laughs> drinks with you. <laughs> you want some Christmas poop? Wait, the lid's not on that. I know. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Mom! Did I scare you? A little bit. It's dangerous, though, because if one, once you start drinking it, you're like, oh, I could take big, oh, yeah. big full uh, size gulps. I already have. Excuse me. <sighs> but it's 8%. So we'd need... Mine's even To less. add vodka to it? Ooh, I wonder if you added champagne to this. There's giggling minions. There's giggling the minions in the bedroom going to sleep. I is that a thing? Do people add champagne to wine? Yeah. Ooh, I can see the reflection of my caterpillar off the cup into what the wine. Caterpillar. On my shirt. Oh. Did you Pretty sure somebody just let one rip in. That's there. what I was just gonna yell at a crow. <laughs> like we heard that. Burp. Somebody just ripped ass in the bedroom. Good night. If, if if we whisper quietly, she won't know that we're still up. Good night. Do you guys do any like certain holiday drinks? Like I know some people really love eggnog. And mm. And it really goes like, right in and out. Some people really like making Kahlua for the holidays. Um, some people always have cider. Oh, you know what? My stepmom always brings, uh, she, every year for Christmas, she always, it's not Thanksgiving, I know, but um, for Christmas, she always brings uh, a bottle of Radical Raspberry. It's a wine. Ooh. It's super good. Good night! I apologize for Michael, who's yelling? Who's yelling? Are you chugging it? No. You got air pockets? I, we're being, we're nasty today. We decided to eat dinner before we did this, yeah, so. Yeah, now I'm all burpy and full. And I'm trying, bro. We're burpy. Oh, do you want to do, how many was in here? I uh -huh. You didn't let me write any, so I don't know. So, this time, oh wait, is there anything you want to update? This is where we tell about our week that we haven't seen each other and we tell each other updates. But it okay, hasn't been a week, so it's only been two days. I haven't seen Janet in so long. <sighs> so long. So long. Um, I put up my Christmas tree over the weekend. Yep. And we went with red and silver. Mm. And, it looked really cute. I liked it. My son didn't want Christmas lights because I'm trying very hard to become a minimalist. And that would have meant purchasing more things. And he said that we didn't need lights. I think when we start the 12 days of Christmas, we should do it in the living room in front of the tree. Okay. 
change it up a little bit. Oh, we might even go on location and go to my house. Go go to a fancy little bar and do it. Although I do need to put this away because I'm very distracted. I know, that's what Danny and I did the whole time we kept playing with it. Yeah. And we were being horrible. And I was sitting here like this. I was like, one, two, three, four. Yeah. Um, I almost brought my wine topper out for funsies. It's not appropriate. No, it's a very endowed, lovely lady. Big old boobies. Um, let's see, things to update. What have I done in two days that you don't know? <laughs> and that's the thing, even though we haven't seen each other in two days, we know everything that we've done in the last two Yeah, days. I told her about my Uber already. Mm -hmm. Somebody got another tattoo. Oh, I did. It's not done yet, though. It's just started. Do we need to give a shout out to Jake? Oh, Jake from State Farm. From State Farm. It's not Jake. It's Jeremy. Jeremy from Electric Zombie Tattoo. He does all my tattoos, and he's hand doing a Nintendo sleeve right now. So far, we've got Zelda and Link. In those that don't know, Link is the man yes. that always goes on the quest Link to rescue Zelda. Rescues Zelda. Link is not Zelda. Zelda is not Link. Okay, but uh, we're gonna be adding uh, like Mario and Luigi and um, Jeremy really wants to do Donkey Kong. Oh God, it wasn't supposed to be a sleeve. It was supposed to be something little. And now apparently I'm doing a whole sleeve and it's gonna have Donkey Kong and it's gonna have, except I told him I didn't wanna do a full, full sleeve. I don't wanna go all the way around cause girl. Got I some could, wangs. I got some wangs going and I could probably put like one of those hidden do you know those mm. foldable things where it's you know, like, like sometimes you see like the t-shirt and it'll say like for the blah, 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 blah. and then you and fold the t-shirt up and it says fuck you <laughs> yeah so that that's what that's what uh uh i'm gonna shut the door she's talking to the so, uh, not you. we're not gonna shut the door on you shut the front door um this is still pretty early though Huh? It's also still pretty early. It's only like eight. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so then, uh, and then after that's done, we're going to do Nightmare Before Christmas. Over here. Over here. And then me being the best friend that I am, she picks me up tonight and I was like, oh, how's that tattoo, tattoo doing, buddy? Yeah. I was like, oh, it hurts a little bit, but it's totally on the other arm. <laughs> you bet. So she's going to go duct tape the children and put them in the closet while I entertain you for a little bit. Um, I don't have my son this year for Thanksgiving, so I'm trying to find some place to um, volunteer, some place that's doing dinners where I can help out. Um, I always end up getting like adopted by a family. Ooh, I love doing that. Yeah. I used to love doing that. If I don't have the kids and we and it's a weekend thing, you should let me know. Okay. But it's, I was I'm talking. talking about Thanksgiving day. I don't have the kids. Okay. I was figuring you were going to Uber on Thanksgiving day. Yeah. Who's going to want to Uber on Thanksgiving People day? People that need to get to their families that don't have a car. Oh. <laughs> I don't have a family. Just kidding. We're doing ours next Sunday. I'm excited. Oh, okay. So, anyways, I did. I looked up the top twenty most. It doesn't even matter. I closed the door and sorry. Um, the top twenty most. Everything's reflecting on my. He was like most. Common slash awkward ways to start conversation at the Thanksgiving dinner table. Mm, how'd that abortion go? Yeah, so that's not one of them. Uh, but <laughs> it's some of them are family to family. Uh, I think one of them is kid to adults. A couple of them are friend to friend. And uh, the other couple are just, I think it's like... I think it was, uh, I can't remember, but at any rate, it's, it's basically like that. So it's going to be Thanksgiving. We're going to pretend we're at the Thanksgiving table having our turkeys and whatever's. And, um, then there, I think there's a couple of just like random, like 
let's go back in time and think about what was our favorite Thanksgiving oh, okay. moment kind of thing. So I took my glasses off because I noticed that the she's screen, hot. I know the screen was reflecting off my lenses, and all you can see is the reflection in my boobs. But um, side note: uh, now that I've taken my glasses off, I'm completely blind. So if it looks you're like looking I'm, in the right place. So if, it, if I'm just staring yeah. off, how you gonna read? The corner, I can just gotta get it close. If I'm staring off into the corner, it's because my eyes oh. are trying to adjust, and I can't really see. So sorry. This wine is a brewing. Oh. Yeah, but uh, I'd still put it in my top five. Oh. It might be that it's mixing with the beef pork. The pork. Who went first last time? You did? Mm -mm. No, I did. You did. Oh my God. You did. I, I went first, yes. Yes, because you picked your own, yes. and I watched, and then I rewatched whined. the video, and then you whined about it. <sighs> I'm scared. If you could have named yourself, what would it be? Hmm. Can we go over? If I could have named myself, it wouldn't have been Janet, because I feel like I'm an old bitch. And, uh... Beulah? I'm fat and I'm round. Very um, Porky. Yeah, I probably named myself Bertha. Gladys. Gladys. Are you thinking of fat names right now? Just old lady names. Old lady names? I don't want to be old. Margaret. Ooh, Listen. It would have been a good Margaret, I feel. So, my, I was named after my aunt. 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 Her middle name is Janet. Her first name is June. I would have taken June. Mm -hmm. Even though I was born in August. So, I should, we should Google... Uh, top 10 names for August babies, and we'll pick number one. Um, I, if I would have ever had a girl, <laughs> um, <laughs> did, did, can we rewind? Can we, <laughs> where were you guys on that one? <laughs> and the best part is, I have my glasses off, so looking at it, I couldn't even tell the difference. I'm not um, even drunk. I don't even have a bus go. Um, if I would have had a girl, I would have loved to have named her Magnolia Rose. That would have been fantastic. Um, or Gwendolyn. Can I just say that if I had a boy, I wanted to name... Well, Nick wanted to name him Nicholas Alexander Alaska Jr. Okay, but seriously, if I had a, a child out of wedlock that was a boy, I so wanted to name him Scott Stanley, whatever the father's last name was. Because those that know me know my maiden name is Scott Hyphen Stanley, so. But I. It's fantastic. I would have went with uh, Magnolia Rose or Gwendolyn or Guinevere. I really like the older, older names. Um, and if I would have been born a boy, I would have really liked to been like Xavier. Oh, that's kind of nice. Mm. Mm. And fun story about my name, um, it's Ashley Shauna, first name, middle name. My lips are totally on that. Shauna? Yeah. Ew. Okay, so since you shared yours, yours is way prettier than mine. Do you want to know what mine is? It's Beulah. It's Louise. Janet Louise. When I get mad at her, I call her Janet Marie. Because I feel Louise. like when you yell somebody's middle name, it usually is Marie. But um, Ashley is Gaelic feminine for Ashby. Which is my grandfather on my mother's name. It's his first name. So you're gay? Yep. And then Nick. Shauna is Irish feminine for Sean, but from Irish to English translation, it usually translates from Sean or Seen to John. And that's my dad's oh, first name. My name is French. So my name is all masculine. My name is French. The male version of it is James. Because I'm sure you found that all out because you did the whole thing in school. I don't think they do that anymore. Because I think I did mine in like fourth grade. But mine is uh, mine is of French descent. And it's... Jeanne. Jeanne. And uh, it's like, when we found this out, again, shout out to that bitch, Danielle. She used to go... Dijonais. Like every fucking where we went through school. Good night. I love you. And 
Sorry if you heard the toilet flush. So anyways, Danny used to call me Dijonese. And apparently now we're all going pee. Does anybody else have to pee? Anybody out there need a timeout? Anybody else out there have multiple um, chitlins that they do this? Where one of them starts it and then the other one starts yeah. and then the other one starts? <sighs> so it's a French descent, Jeanne, Janet, male version, James. And um, if I was a boy, Lawrence Richard Stanley Jr. If I was a boy, something, something, um, my children come from Russian background because um, their grandfather is the first American-born Russian. On their dad's side? Their yes, on their dad's side. Um, and so the way that the Russians are is they don't believe in middle names, and so the Russians do not have middle names. Yeah. So I did a big fuck you, and I gave them two. So, JC Annabelle. And Alexandria May Rose. Maddie is, um, his dad and his uncle, um, one of his uncles are full of siblings, same father, same mother. They both have middle names. So Matthew is Matthew Robert Thomas. Now, if, good night, JC was a boy, her name was supposed to be Nicholas Alexander Zalaska Jr. And if, um, Lexi was a boy. She was supposed to be Alexander. No, no, no. I lie. She was supposed to be named Alexandra Nicole. Um, and we totally bypassed that because our um, vacation spot is Alexandria Bay. So <laughs> Alexandria May. Um, anyways. That's probably where she was going to uh -huh. And then Rose is my mom's middle name. But at any rate, Annabelle is my grandmother's middle name that or my grandmother's first and middle name her name is Anna Bell she passed away the day I found out I was pregnant with JC um after we had lost our son but um if Lexi was a boy she again was actually not going to be Nicholas Alexander Zalaska Jr. because that was supposed to be JC and our first son so she was actually going to be Alexander Nicholas so um, in as far as I know, mine was supposed to be Lawrence Richard Stanley Jr., but I'm pretty okay. sure I already said that. Uh, my dad will never listen to these videos because I, I haven't shared them with him. But if I was a boy, he was going to be able to name me. And he wanted to name me Axel, Axel Rod Studebaker Hathaway. We would have been besties so, automatically. Because my initials are Ash now, and they still would have been Ash. And he's like, how cool would it have been to, like, have a little boy and, like, his nickname been Axe or Rod or Stu. Mm -hmm. And if you know anything about cars, the Studebaker is a horrible, ugly car. So I'm so glad for Sorry, my the only time I'm glad that I was born with Lady Bits. Yeah, I would not I would have been fine being named after my dad. Um, He could have been Big Dick and I could have been Little Dick. Mm -hmm. That's what she said. That's what she said. Then it just made me think of She Shed. Damn another, it, Cheryl. Another one before we open our next bot tell. I can't believe we're almost at 30 minutes already. Mm. <sighs> I finished my apple. I know, and I'm sorry, guys. Like, if we were drinking beer or liquor, mm -hmm. I can drink them real fast. Wine is not my thing. If you're on the Facebook page, you totally, um, we had a shout out from... Jeffrey again for uh, he knew that we were at karaoke and after we did our video on Friday and so we um, did each of our karaoke's he liked yours better probably because you're hotter and I am the daughter of his f flame not flame so I don't think so mine was really loud that's probably the only reason why he liked mine, mine I did he said I sounded and tired already. and drunk you were a little absolutely. Crazy. What you got? How did you? you got how did you celebrate Thanksgivings? How are you going to celebrate Thanksgiving? Well, since we didn't. That says how did, not how are. I know, but we haven't done it yet. <laughs> so how are you going to okay, celebrate your am. Thanksgiving? Uh, Thanksgiving, I am gonna try, like I said, to find some place to donate my time. 
uh, a coworker has offered to adopt me in on Thanksgiving if I don't find a place to go. And you're coming to mine on Sunday. And then Sunday we're coming, and mm -hmm. her mom loves me way more than she loves her. I already told mom so. you were coming, and she was like, oh, that's fantastic. Her mom loves me. That's only because I buy her love with Three Musketeers bars. Yes. Um, if any of my friends um, aren't already in the family and they're looking to be in the family, just show up with Three Musketeers bar, and my and mother like will. Flynn. Love you. But um, how I used to celebrate Thanksgiving. Maybe if I sit like this. Um, when I was little, like my parents separated when I was really young. I think that's actually one of the other questions. And so it was always like Thanksgiving with one parent, Christmas with the other parent. Next year, swap parents. My mom, my stepdad, and me... Um, my house was always like the party go-to chill house with my mom. So my stepdad is a phenomenal cook. There'd be a ton of food, but then there would also be like a lot of drugs and a lot of alcohol and a lot of uh, celebrating. So holidays with my mom was never like, can't wait. Uh, I have a pork. Does he count as a turkey? I, what? I can't. I don't have my glasses on. A pork from know. Star Wars. The pork. <sighs> I never. Watched a Star Wars movie all the way through. Um, but when I was with my dad, um, my dad's family is really big. We're Catholic, so there was always a ton of people, a ton of family, a ton of food. We'd usually go to mass, um, and it was always just the holidays have never been like my go-to thing. I've never been really excited about the holidays. It's just another day it's for me, me, you know. Because she, she might have to leave. Um, I'm looking for a turkey. <laughs> oh my god, turkey, you do that. It's, uh, you know, it's always been, I'm one of those people that's grateful for everything all the time. <laughs> so I don't need a holiday to celebrate being grateful for one day. Is it Howard the Duck? Howard! The duck, Woo. yeah, he's our Thanksgiving turkey, and I don't know what else to put to the song. Why is, why is he our turkey though? He's a duck. Turkey is the other other white meat. All right. Chicken. Duck. Is duck white? Just forget. Well, when when okay, let's think back to the Christmas story, when they're. Cutting the duck open at the Chinese restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything that is turkey-ish. That's okay. Okay, so how do I celebrate my Thanksgiving? I guess if we pull out the one that says, how do you used to? Maybe I didn't write that one down. So as far back as I can remember, we never... I'm still looking for turkey shit. Um, as far back as I can remember, we... My mother and father had me in high school, okay? Don't have babies in high school. I mean, unless you've failed a bunch and you're like 21 years senior year. No! Anyways. Um, my mom always had me for Christmas. My dad always had me for Christmas Eve. <laughs> my father always, or my mother always had me for Thanksgiving because Thanksgiving was never a big deal for my dad until he got married. And when he got married, I was with not living with my mother anymore, so I didn't see my mom, so it wasn't a big deal. So for the bulk of my life, I always had Thanksgiving with my mother, Christmas with my dad, or Christmas Eve with my dad, and Christmas with my mom. So Thanksgiving has always been celebrated with my mom. So every year we go to my mom's house and um, celebrate Thanksgiving. Now this year, because I have a bigger place now, because you all know that I moved out of my mom's house, and uh, I have way more space, and my mom's family is growing. Got a hiccup already because my baby sister Sammy. Just had a baby. Oh, so cute. Oh, I should totally get my phone and so do a little round. shout out. She's so cute. She's got my cheeks, which is totally fine because my oldest daughter, JC looks almost exactly like Sammy. So it's fine that her daughter has my cheeks. Um, so at any rate, we always do Thanksgiving there, but this year we're doing it here. So we're going to do Thanksgiving. You could just pull it up on your phone. You can go on my face on Facebook. 
that I don't have to go off but camera. I'm not friends with me. No. Oh. No, I don't want to. I don't want to show pictures of the baby on here. It's her, she's finally. No, not on not on our YouTube. <sighs> go on Facebook. You'll see it if you're yeah. on my Facebook yeah, page. No. Anyway, she's cute as a button. She was seven pounds and twenty inches long. She's so cute. I want to love her. Maybe we can do a family Thanksgiving episode. <laughs> All the family gets wasted. She wasted. Try out some wine. Um, so, but this year, my brother is coming home and leaving the day we're doing Thanksgiving. There was like a big miscommunication thing, which is totally fine. Get it. We'll see them next year. Um, my brother just got home from um, Saudi Arabia. Thank you for so all that you do, Brian. He's in the Air Force. Um, but he also had a little baby, and he married, and he has a little boy. His name is Declan. My sister had a girl named Nora. And um, he married my best friend from Time Warner when I worked at Time Warner. And she already had two daughters. So now we have my two girls, her two girls, my brother's baby boy, and my new niece, Nora, um, who would all be at the house. So now we're doing it here. But mom already got the turkey. She already messaged me. She got it for like 25 cents a pound because Hello Weiss and gas rewards. Um, and uh, so now I just got to figure out the sides, and which I already know because everybody knows what I make for sides, which isn't generally what my mom makes. But Green bean casserole. <sighs> I don't know. That's more of a Nick's family thing. Oh. I make broccoli and cheese casserole. I've never had it, but I'm sure I'll like it. It's fantastic. I don't like stuffing or cranberries. Okay, sauce. so JC is, those are her two favorite things. So if you don't eat it, it's totally fine because she will eat the shit out of that. But mashed potatoes, girl, you know I go ham. Yeah, and I make homemade red skinned mashed potatoes, not peeled. We should make those Hungry, hungry Jack potatoes again. <laughs> So yeah, so we decided that I just I don't make anybody that knows me I don't make things from boxes unless it's I like make all the stuff. Okay, so the only thing I make from boxes is like box macaroni and cheese because the girls like it, but I generally make homemade macaroni and cheese, and um, I make. Oh, Lexi is obsessed with uh, her dad makes her the hamburger helper, so. Hamburger Helper and box macaroni and cheese. This is about anything that I make from a box. If you go look at my cupboard, you can verify. Everything else I make from scratch, and I get that from my mom. But I made, I wanted to make. A, we had a bunch of friends When over. Penny came over mm -hmm. um, to two do the episode, ago. so two episodes ago, when Penny came over, we had a big dinner, and then Ashley came over after, and all of that stuff. And um, I made a big dinner, and I don't have a peeler for potatoes yet so i had shit i gotta get that before sunday um so i had said side note buy a fucking peeler so, oh no i don't need to buy a peeler because i'm gonna make red potatoes um unpeeled so at any rate i bought a box of hungry jack mashed potatoes and nobody in the house knew how to make it and i had to follow directions on the back of the box which i don't follow directions i just make it and uh, also the pasta pan that we used was small a little little it's like one of those small spaghetti pots it's not like a big it's pot. not a big family pot yeah so <laughs> but they actually came out pretty banging i'm not gonna lie it was and just it was we had to like stir in the flakes <laughs> And then get it real stirred up, and then dump it into a casserole dish, <laughs> and, add and then more, put in more flakes, and then stir and this, then stir and then everything add the together. rest, and stir it up. It was a lot of potatoes, y'all. Yes, it, and it was actually super good. Um, so Hungry Jack potatoes, you totally good shout out ten for me. Okay, so the apple, I totally would drink again. I'd give it out of one out of ten wine glasses. I'd give it like a six or a seven. Yeah, same. It, um, it's it, in my top five, not my top three. It doesn't, it's not strong enough for me to really be like, oh, that's like a good wine, but it's also not apple enough to be like, oh, that kind of tastes like cider. I feel like it's missing something. Like yeah. it needs a little bit more cinnamon um, or a little bit more. So I saw cranberries and I was like, oh, cranberries, that's Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. But um, it's Glenora and Glenora is our, our jam. That's where we got our watermelon. Uh, it's cranberry... Chablis? Chablis. 
Chablis. Chablis. Chablis. Chablis. Uh, it's a wine beverage flavored with cranberry juice from cows and Hopefully yours doesn't have a huge story because we're nine minutes behind. Cranberry Chablis has the crisp and tangy flavor of fresh cranberries. The finish is lively and sweet. Enjoy this blend oh, of white wine and cranberry juice on picnics or with turkey. Uh, again, this is from the Glenora Wine Cellars in Dundee, New York. And we all remember we had Glenora before. And it was watermelon. Watermelon. That's my number one. www.glenora.com. It's only 4% alcohol, guys. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, Bud Light might be stronger than this. But it is all the way on the sweet Richter scale of judging the wine. Do you want to do a shot of vodka? Why does she always want to do shots with the fucking wine? To add the alcohol content. Again, I got the fancy bottle. She picked out the fancy bottle, guys. I found the apple. She found the cranberry. <sighs> She's so fly. It smells like the metal from the lid. Mmm. <laughs> metal. Mm. Lid. It smells like baby wipes. Oh, we didn't rinse. I found the water. Oh, I don't. Mm -mm. I do not like the smell of that. Do you know what's funny is like when we always decide who's which bottle is gonna go first, we always think that we're doing the shitty bottle second. It always tends to be the shitty bottles first and the this or no, the good bottle is first and the shitty bottle is second. Although I did pick this one out, so this would be the first time that I picked out a shitty wine. Oh, appley water. But yeah, this is uh, delish. My back's killing me. Is that a good pour, Danielle? That's I a good... you didn't turn the glass. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, so you here, then bubbles. you do it. I don't want to... I have bubbles, though. You don't want bubbles. Why don't you want the bubbles? I like bubbles. Because then you need... You aerate My that. bubbles. Oh, I got a little bit of leg. Oh, I got a lot of bit of leg. It's, it's definitely leggy. It smells like turpentine. <laughs> the apple smelled like shit, too. Like, why? Why does it smell like straight up like diesel fuel? So that is um, liquidized Jolly Rancher. Yeah, actually, yeah. Um, cranberry juice cocktail is very good for you if you have a urinary tract infection. Um, so if you have <laughs> UTI, if you have a UTI, um, and you like wine, this is like a uh, wine version of cranberry juice cocktail. That smells like turpentine. So the sweet meter. Again, remember the lid set on that. All the way to the end. <laughs> it's like a sweet and sour. It's like a sour patch kid. It is a mother effing Jolly Rancher in there. It's like a mouth. sour patch kid. Just like the watermelon, except this is straight up cranberry juice. Cocktail Jolly Rancher. Ruby red grape. Yeah, ruby red. Yeah, you remember the ruby red grapefruit? That's like the ruby cra cranberry cocktail. Let's just see. Wait, wait. One day we might have a bottle of wine that lasts longer than two cups. Because I think that's how you're supposed to drink. Yeah, because we're only supposed to fill it halfway. Yeah. But it's got a nice color to it. And look how the light reflects off of it. It's very shimmery. If you could add champagne to wine, if that's a thing, if you could put some bubbles in this, this would be good shit. Mmm. Well, I'm if gonna... If you take, if you take, okay. I know, Danielle, and I'm sorry, this is not how you're supposed to take drinks of wine. If you take, like, big swills and just, like, and down the gullet before you taste it, it's not that bad. The after aftertaste is really good. I feel like I am on a medication to clear up my UTI. The only bad thing is, is that we did, first wine was apples, second wine definitely is We should have had red. dinner with then dessert. This is definitely a red, and Janet's tummy doesn't agree with these things. <laughs> so, that's my bad. Talking shit about dandy number four. I got it. I can never do the whole like thing. I get so You gotta jealous. hold the bottom half of you tight and then. 
This one I might actually finish before Janet, I think. Yeah, because I don't have a UTI. Okay, just because my lady bits are broken doesn't mean I have a UTI, okay? <laughs> kill my children. So even though I don't have my glasses on, if you see me looking in this direction, that is where the Chitlin's bedroom is. And mind you, it's only 8.51 at night, but there's way too much noise and movement going on for sleeps. Ready? Yes. I really like the taste of this. If I were a pair of shoes, what kind of shoe would I be? Uh, if you were a pair of shoes. Mm -hmm. Answering for you, if she was a pair of shoes, she'd either be a bedazzled pair of, like, Ugg-style boots. Is that because I live in those fucking slipper Ugg things that I have? Because she doesn't really like wearing shoes, though she can slip on and off. Mm -hmm. But if she was an everyday shoe and we lived in, like, perfect weather, it would be, like, a Burke or a really, really, like, fleeked out flip-flop. Yes. Is fleeked still a thing? Do kids still say on fleek? On oh, fleek. I haven't heard that in so long. I feel, I feel like, like I you would be it. a great, colorful pair of Converse. Yes. Yeah, I love my cons. I miss having uh, cons. I used to have a pair of sky blue high tops, and where it had the Converse star symbol that was tie dye, and it had a daisy in it instead of the star. I had them custom made. Fly ads. I feel like I'm really doing what the doctor says and drinking cranberry juice cocktail because I have to flush out my urines. If you ever get a UTI drink, straight ass cranberry juice cocktail, a whole bottle of it, flushes out your urine. Okay, Janet likes to write in cursives, but Can sometimes, you read it? what is the baddest, hardest? Hardest. What is the hardest thing about being a parent? Oh, I saw a baddest thing about being a part. <laughs> what is that the was like the baddest thing about being a part from what? No, what is the hardest thing about being a parent? <laughs> that was rough. Um, Maddie doesn't live with me. Uh, by his choice, as soon as he decides he wants to live with me, that would change. The hardest part is watching him go through his not mental disabilities because he's not mentally disabled going through his quirks that unfortunately he has inherited from me and watch him failing at school because kind of like an OCD thing yeah he, where you have to be a certain way and things have to be he, a certain way and you he have has to uh he's on the high end spectrum of autism he is ADHD, and he has OCD, and he has tics, all of which he's gotten from his mama. Boy may not look like me at all, but everything else that's in here... Lexi has OCD, but she doesn't have me. a tic or anything. And watching, like, I see this brilliant child that I, I can sit down and have the most intellectual conversations with. Watching him struggle and fail with stuff that I can't help him with because I'm not there enough to be able to apply the things that I know that can help. Um, being in a split home, you know, like I tried the longest to stay together with his dad because Same. I come from a split home and like I didn't want that for my child. But um, just always having that constant feeling that like you're never doing enough. You know? We just went sad. This is a horrible question for fucking bitches be tripping. Wow. Good job, Janet. If she would have let me pick some of these, that you question would have been next week. There. You bring questions next week. <laughs> think of the topic. Um, the hardest part about being a parent is not having the way that I grew up without going down that rabbit hole. Having the anger and Stuff that comes from all of that. Not flipping the out on my children and being overly stern. That's the hard, hardest part being Although, 
her kids when they're together? Like... They have a five-year gap. Let me just put it that way in their girls. And one is going into preteens and one is still a child. We all just, know what that's like. I just... I We want to get them the t-shirt where, like, you put the two kids in it when they're fighting. And they just have to be in the t-shirt together. But it's funny because they could totally hate each other. And want to suffocate each other with a pillow one minute. And the next minute they're, we're like, giggling and they love each other. And they're grossly in love. Let's do another one. Hardest thing about being a parent is watching them go to their dad's house. Okay, fun and missing. Funny, funny Time. story. The hardest part about being a parent to a little boy <laughs> is Five girls. when he wakes up and you hear him go to the bathroom and say, I can't pee with this thing. And then you hear him peeing in the bathtub because if you're a male listener, you know what happens in the morning. I babysat three boys when I was a teenager and I was 16 and I think the oldest was like 12. And I remember I woke up and he came into the room and he was like, because I nannied. And he was like, Janet, is this normal? <laughs> yeah, buddy, it's called morning wood. Yeah, that's, that's always fun. But it only happens when you sleep over. That's um, weird. Yeah. So anyways, what are you most thankful for this year? I am most thankful for the girls starting in a new school and actually doing well um, rather than going down a bad rabbit hole that they were before. What are you thankful for? Um. Oh, and reconciling with my mother. <laughs> That's a big fucking word. Shut up. <laughs> uh, I am thankful for my health. Um, oh, it may not be the best. I mean, it's pretty worse. Dying, right now. sorry. Um, the reason why I wasn't on a couple episodes, and I can tell it now, um, I was diagnosed with stage two cervical cancer. And this isn't the first time that I've been diagnosed with cervical cancer. But um, this last time I was diagnosed, and I actually went to start direct radiation on my cervix. Like, I didn't know that was a thing where I, I could just have a beam of radiation shot into the lady bits. Lady bits. And, um, when I went, they were looking to see, like, the centimeter size of how big the spot was for the radiation. Kind of like a baby? Mm -hmm. Kind of, yeah. Like, they gave me the meds, actually, to dilate me, so I felt like I was going into labor. Like, I felt the cramps and all that fun jazz. And they couldn't find the cancerous cells, so they didn't start radiation. Um... So, I found, I found a turkey. <laughs> Janet found a turkey. Um, but, wait, this is not, okay, one of these things is not like the other. Um, but I'm thankful. Like, <laughs> ow! You just fucking stabbed me. Ow! You just stabbed me twice. This is a metal sign. <laughs> I'm thankful for my health. I may not be the healthiest, but at least I am cancer free for the time being. Can you get Chewbacca away, please? Gobble, gobble. Because that shit just stabbed me in my arm and my side. <laughs> Ow. It's like one of those metal signs you went at the fair and fucking just stabbed me all over the place. She has found another Chewbacca. And for... Those that are tuning in that don't really know Janet and I too well, Janet is addicted to Star Wars. No. So. Okay. I have the turkey. Oh, wait. Is he tall enough? Let me see him. To put on the bench. <laughs> okay. Nom, 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 nom. Uh. <laughs> oh, that was a purr. I can't do it. <sighs> okay. So, Chewy, what are you thankful for? Mm. It's really insightful. It's yeah. really deep, you know? That was so deep. Sometimes it really just takes words from another to really hit home. <sighs> Your turn. Yes? 
No. No, you had, pulled one out. Yeah, I had the hardest part about being a parent because I saw the the hardest part about being a part. You just won five million dollars. What is the first thing you would buy? A motherfucking house. Um, the first thing I would do is buy. call Yolanda Vega. <laughs> <laughs> just tell her thank you for always believing in me when I was a kid. And um, the first thing I would buy. He said he would buy a cage for the porks. Oh, that's all. See. Always putting others first. He doesn't like it when he gets molested by the porgs. Um, the first thing I would buy would be a house as well. Yes. For... Oh, we should get a duplex. <gasps> yes. With the door that conjoins in the middle so I could be like, go oh, fuck to see and Ashley, go fuck away. That'd actually be great. And then dad, me, and Maddie can live on one side and you and the girls can live on the other. Yep. And we just have a whole little compound going. <laughs> yeah. The cult... Of mm. not like the cult we were talking about last night. Oh, yeah, because mine was a sex cult. Different cult. Yeah, that was fun. Are you scared? Who is the funniest at the table and why? Who's the funniest? Um, <laughs> that's gonna have to be Christmas poop. Oh my god, he's great. He is hilarious. Get a couple of cocktails in him. You can't touch this. You can't touch this. My, my, my. Something stinky underneath the tree. And oh no, you just stepped in me. That's two. In my Santa cat, this poop emoji brings a rap. Santa's reindeer went number two. He made the cutest little poo. And I'm known as such. Merry Christmas. You can't touch this. No touching. You can't touch this. Time. Listen, I work in a, I used to work in a warehouse and this girl that I work with, she was like, it was Melinda. Oh, shout outs to Melinda. I, I can't even you. say, what, the, what are you doing? I can't even say some girl that I work with. You met her on the Halloween episode. Um, Melinda was a sexy kitty cat and it was her birthday and um, she bought that for me. We love Melinda. One night, the first night actually, I think I met Melinda, yeah, the first night. We um, we went out and did our karaoke's, did the things that Janet and I love to do. And then, this bless her heart, you can tell I'm raised from the South, like bless her heart, like this little girl decides that we need to go to Dillinger's. Oh my God. Mind you, I think I was pretty much dressed like this. Janet was pretty much dressed like that. Like, we did not have downtown clothing. Bed! We did not have downtown clothing on at all. And then not no. only does she want to go to Dillinger's, she wants to go upstairs to Dillinger's. And that's just a... Twerk it, twerk it, twerk it, twerk it, twerk it. Oh, wait, do you know, like, when she grinds it real hard, she's like... Yeah. Okay. Does like the hair flip and the yeah that kind of thing and so we're dancing whatever it's 9,000 degrees up there and we look around and we're surrounded by like 23 24 year olds and they're at one point in time I look over and I'm protecting Melinda at this point she has people like trying to grind up on her and she's like no thanks, no thanks. No thanks, bye. And then I would get between them. No thanks, no bye. No thanks, bye. And then we look over and this dude is recording her dancing. And I very, like, nonchalantly, like, I'm like, oh, he's recording her. So I walked out of frame and he's looking at his phone, looking at her ass, which is delicious. Like a rump roast, delicious. Want to bite into it, mm -hmm. and then I just kind of hop into the frame. I'm like, "Hey, what are you doing, fella? That's my little sister." He's like, "Oh, I was, I, I, I wasn't. I was needed the flashlight on, on my phone." And then we decide to at. Uh,
She might kill them right now. I think. I think. They, I think they've been. They're just dancing on the floor. They're hanging from their toes right now. But um, and then at the end of the night, it was one of those things. We're trying to leave. Trying to leave. Like, oh, this one has to pee. This one has to get water. This one doesn't know where their jacket is. And we're just, like, trying to corral all three of us so we could leave. It was just a rough night. But I love you, Melinda. And that ass of yours. Damn, girl. I would love mm. that ass. All up in my face. Mm, I'm, not, I'm not just motivated to fuck. Oh. See, this should have been first. Well, when you put them in a cup. Your most creative leftover turkey idea is go. I don't really like turkey. So leftover I make turkey, turkey pot pies. Leftover turkey is just turkey sandwiches. I make turkey pot pies. I like turkey sandwiches. And I love them. What do you make, Chewy? Mm. He said pork. He hates those fuckers. I wonder if he... Put, how are you still winning? Because I'm thirsty. And it's an hour already. We're supposed to be done in an hour. Why? Because that's what we, we said 30 minutes per wine bottle. I feel like next week is going to be like an hour and 30 minutes. I do apologize. Like this, we just recorded two days ago. We didn't really have a lot, but... We'll have a lot more to get caught up if on. If you stuck it through in like all the sentimental, like... When I was a kid, and the 45 minutes of us explaining each other's names, like kudos, that did take a lot of time. Kudos to you, my friend. Mm -hmm. What are you most thankful for this year? Did we do that one? Sure did. Mm. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> sure did. <sighs> Chewie, what are you thankful for? <laughs> he said the solo movie. Because he had a girlfriend. Wait, you got a girlfriend? You gotta watch it. Uh, I'm, I never will. You can cuddle with us and watch. No. Watch your Star Wars. Nope. That is a confession. I've told you guys. Hobbit got me the greatest Chewbacca holding a pork. He's great. He's up there. Um, I don't have the attention span This one is Star from Wars. Brandon. And from where it's like... They're not in sequential order. That was done on purpose. I know. You can watch them in sequential order now. But even then, it still is like, but wait, this is a different actor, and this is done 20 years ago, and this was CG, and the only Star Wars that I've watched start to finish was the one with Jar Jar Binks, and that's because my dad... That's more than one. The first one with Jar Jar Binks. Okay. That's because my dad had me for that summer, and he dragged me to the movie theater, and made me watch it with him, and this woman that he was um, babysitting, she had a, a traumatic brain injury, and she really liked Star Wars, so the whole time, I was like, but who's that, and why is this, where's Yoda, and where's R2-D2? <laughs> I took my Hobbit love to see one of the newer um, Star Wars movies, but he missed a lot of it. I don't want to know why. I want to think that he fell asleep. Absolutely. His eyes were closed. <laughs> you just ruined it. our first holiday special. <laughs> <laughs> With no turkey and a dancing poop and a Chewbacca. And screaming minions. I mean, if that's not how you celebrate a holiday, then... This sounds like a, a that typical like Thanksgiving. That sounds like yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, at least, like, mom and dad aren't fighting in the front lawn and the police haven't been called. So I take this as a win. Yeah, and someone's not trying to stuff somebody's turkey. <sighs> I miss turkey stuffing. Listen, Sunday, you will have your last turkey, stuff, tur turkey stuffing. Turking, I said. And then we're dieting like a mofo. I don't want turkey stuffing. I want my turkey stuffed. Oh. I missed out on getting my turkey stuffed today. Like a big old gobbler. Because mm. I got a tattoo instead. Yo. No bueno. I stuffed it yesterday. I handled it. 
he said no. Well, this even got more depressing, <laughs> thinking about the lack of the turkey stuffing going on in my life. So, oh, I love gravy on my stuffing. I don't like gravy either. Mm. Mm. Matt can go through just gravy and potatoes all day. JC can too. I was thinking about licking the gravy, I'm sorry. Got a little distracted. Well, um, that's it for Bishes Be Tippin'. Yeah, so stand by for family holiday dinner, Bishes Be Tippin', and then the four fucking episodes of the 12 Days of Christmas. Well, and leave us comments. Let us know what you guys want us to talk about. I mean, other than politics or religion, we'll try yeah, to talk about it. Do you have it. a random question for us other than what size are your titties? 42 triple D. And how often do you look for a random guy to stuff your turkey? I ain't, you know, once a week. I'm Three times a day. We'll see, you know, the, the, Minimum. the bits have been broken, so there's been no stuffage lately. But, you know, sometimes it's still nice to have a little gravy on your turkey. You know what I'm saying? Wink, wink. But, uh... You know who we didn't shout out to? Who doesn't really watch unless I make him? Pepin. Pepin? Never mind. <laughs> he already stuffed my turkey. Do you want him to stuff your turkey? I mean, I wouldn't object. I Okay. I, I to think, do math. Hold on. I think that, um... If Janet's best male friend and Janet's best female 16 friend... 16 years ago. I think if the best... I took his stuffing of turkey virginity. That's pretty impressive. But, regardless, if she took her male best friend and her female best friend and then they got together... Best friend sandwich. And that'd be like a perfect trifecta. And then she could have the titties and the dick. Because you know that that's what she You know that I like the titties and the dick. Sorry, Sheila, you can't hear this. I'm just going to get you out of the <laughs> I think he fainted. You alright, little You alright, guy? <laughs> that's how he... Okay. We may not have been lifelong friends, like, since we were kids or whatever. We complete each other's sentences and say the same things. All the time. I have a Chewbacca in my bed that makes noise. I know you do. I was totally getting my turkey stuffed, and he went, and I really both laughed and kept going. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. All right. Well, on that note, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for listening to the whole hour and seven minutes. Leave us comments. Leave us questions. Like, just leave us statements saying, like, hey, you guys shouldn't make videos anymore. Hey, you should make two videos a week. Leave us something. Janet, why are you so fat? Shit. We got, look at, we got twinsy chins. Oh, I just totally looked like a whole different person when I did that. I call it the Thanks caterpillar. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you next week. At our family Thanksgiving. That's like, that's, what, is, what is the thing called on the turkey? The gobbler? The, 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 giz the goblin? The gizzard? The gizzard! No, wait, is that their stuffings? The gizzard is this thing, isn't it? This is my gizzard. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs> no, we just look like bottles. I miss you already. Okay, have a good holiday. Have a good holiday.